a little higher like that. Does this work at all? I feel like. It's been a little while since my last video and I'm probably not alone with this but I found the past maybe a couple of weeks or so um, quite challenging emotionally. I don't know, maybe it's the whole self-isolation thing getting to me or who knows, maybe just one of those phases where everything is so much more intense than it needs to be, you know? And I've been a little overwhelmed with that. But here's a really cool thing that I thought I would share. Um, when I start to, you know, get overwhelmed with emotions and having difficulty in my relationships with other people, it can be really easy to go down um, a negative spiral of, um, you know, self-deprecating thoughts and stuff like that. So something that really helped me this time was to go back and look at videos I recorded in the past and not too long ago. Right, because it's, it's only been a little while since I started th this channel and I was kind of hoping that one of the side effects of it would be that I get to remind myself of how positive and present and capable and especially kind to myself I can be. And I got a chance to test that theory and it turns out I was right. It really helps, too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, now I'm getting emotional again. That's just what I was talking about. Like, there are times when we just get overly emotional, and that's okay. Sorry, um, what I was saying is it's really nice to see evidence of yourself being good and kind to yourself because it reminds you that it's possible and that it's nice and beautiful and helps you get out of that negative mindset and hopefully reclaim a much more positive and hopeful narrative about yourself and I think that's really important. Um, enough with the talking. Uh, the thing that I would like to do today is draw. And there's a reason why I chose that activity. Um, actually, a couple of days ago, I did a guided meditation that was about imagining meeting yourself at 9 or 10 years old and embracing that child and asking them, what are you sad that I stopped doing? Yeah, so when I asked my younger self that question of what they wish I was still doing or what they are sad that I don't do anymore, you know, different things came up in my mind, but um, probably the main thing that stuck out was drawing. My younger self told me she's kind of sad that we don't draw anymore because I used to draw a lot. I used to make, you know, artworks, mm. arts and crafts, many creative things when I was a child. And I don't really do that so much anymore, and it's kind of a shame. Um, I am not sure that I can still, or that I ever was particularly good at drawing, but I don't think much it matter at all if it just relaxes you and makes you feel good and makes you feel like you're doing something creative. So, 
Let's just try. <laughs> Let's try it out. So one of the things I was really into as a child, I really loved horses. Yes, I was one of those girls, horse girl, but only in a theoretical sense. My mom wouldn't let me take horse riding lessons or anything because she thought it was too dangerous. But, you know, I had a friend who did take horse riding lessons and she would take me along to the stable, which I loved. I loved meeting horses and just interacting with them, you know? Yeah, I've always thought horses were just really elegant and majestic animals. I wouldn't say that they were ever my favorite animal, like, ever since I was a child I've always said my favorite animal by far is lions. I love lions. And uh, I still do, but... Wow, I have a lot of pencils. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I'm just kind of taking stock. I, I haven't looked at this in a while, so I'm just taking stock of what I have in here. Uh, sorry about the noise. Uh, I love this little guy, by the way. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I love lions. They're just really difficult for me to draw. I've never been able to figure out the anatomy of a lion, but um, yeah, as you can tell, my thoughts are a little all over the place. So I'm trying to yeah, collect myself, ground myself in the moment, and hopefully find a nice horse. I could try doing it just from memory, but since it's my first time really trying to draw anything in quite a while, I do prefer to have something to look at while I draw so that I have something to go off of. Hmm. No, I think I think if if I pick one that's fairly simple. Yeah. That's a nice one. I wonder if I should focus on just the head to start with. But no, I don't know. Half the fun of drawing horses is something about the curvature of the neck and then the back. That's just really fun and pleasant to draw. So I'm going to keep looking for Mmm, horse running. Left. Yeah. That's good. Mm. I don't know. I feel like maybe in my mind I already have kind of an image of what I want. And because I'm kind of stuck on that mental image, it's hard to find something that seems right. Hmm. Yep, definitely riveting footage up to this point. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's go for that one. I think that's the same one that I looked at before. And uh, there's something about it I didn't quite like. But it feels... It looks a little stretched out to me, but I don't know, maybe that's just my brain. We'll see. And I mean, it's not like I have to draw it exactly the way that it is on here. I can just use it as inspiration, I guess. Okay, maybe I'll go for the super soft pencil, I guess. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I do have a little bit of anxiety about even starting. Even though I, I know, logically I know that I don't need to be anxious because the outcome isn't what matters. What matters is that I 
did the thing. I tried drawing again. So let's just start somewhere. And if it doesn't look right, it doesn't look right. It'll be fine. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I can definitely tell that I'm not as practiced that even at just holding a pencil as I used to be. It feels a little unfamiliar and odd right now, but Yeah, no. I already don't particularly like what I'm doing. That's okay, let's keep going for now. I hope you're drawing as well. Can't let me do this on my own and embarrass myself. Let's embarrass ourselves together. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe you're really great at drawing, in which case, why not show me up? Let's do it, come on. Okay, well, I guess the eye is pretty high up here. I don't know, that looks so odd. I don't like... I don't like this. I think what I'm gonna do is stop focusing so much on what I have in front of me. Oh no. Oh no, very smudgy. Very smudgy. Eraser. This one's probably too rough. Oh boy. That's something I probably should have mm, checked out beforehand. I'm sure I have an eraser that actually works. Well, I don't know, but this one seems brand new, so. how much of a mess erasers make. Eh, gross. I don't want to have all of that on my floor. Okay, that's better. Maybe I'll bring my trash can over here. something else later, just some doodles or something. Let's start with a clean slate. New page. I think maybe I'll go for some, something a little less intense. Wait, no, this one is really hard. Do I have, oh yeah, 2B.
Hmm. I forget how to do those nostrils. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, but not terrible, not great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Something about this isn't right. Maybe I should start smaller. Start with a small horse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like this a little better so far. Well, 
One thing about horses is they have really kind of long eyelashes. It's something I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Why does my horse look so sad? I guess maybe let me draw. Your own emotions might get filtered into your drawing a bit. <laughs> now I'm just reminded of Bojack Horseman for some reason. Not that this is that that art style at all, but it's also not quite realistic, so hmm. Something like this, probably. You know what? I don't hate it. It's alright. I think this is not so far off from how I used to draw the horses. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Probably not super anatomically accurate, but to me, it looks about right, to be honest. Oh no. Hmm. I guess the battery's already dying. Probably because it took me a while to even set this up. I had to do like a billion little test runs about to see about the angle, but I mean, you know, I consider this a success and that 
I really don't like this. This came out all wrong. Let me get rid of it. But I do like this one. I don't know if you can see it from up there. Let me erase the ugly one first. <laughs> and then I'll try and show you up close. <laughs> yep, that's a pretty annoying part about drawing that I completely forgot about. Okay, well, just in case this battery dies any moment now, let me show you what I got so far. We've got this cut-off horse here at the edge of the page. Um, you know, this tends to happen to me. I start something in an odd place on the page and then it just gets cut off because I don't have enough space to finish it. But, you know, maybe that's part of why it worked out. <laughs> maybe if I had actually finish the rear end of it, it would have become obvious that my anatomy is off. Um, and it might already be. The more I look at it, I can see that the torso is too short. But I don't care because I think it still looks pretty cute. I don't know. Um, maybe I can try another one. Smaller seems to work better. I don't know what it is about doing larger drawings, but it's just always a lot more difficult, so maybe if I go even smaller maybe I can Yes, yes, maybe I can do one, but that's going real fast. Let's see here. Okay, I'm getting excited now because I'm already liking some of this silhouette. What happened there? Kinda. I mean, clearly there's something wrong about it, but at least you can see the movement. And that's what I was hoping for, to get some movement in dynamic. Get in dynamic drawing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. 
I messed it up at the rear there, as I thought I would. Mm. I don't know, I do like the front part a lot. You know, it's it's not terrible. I will say that. It's a little off. But it's not terrible. Could be a lot worse. face kind of ruined it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Huh. <sighs> Probably this one needs to be more like maybe something like that. 